What's up guys and welcome back to another video. In this video I'm gonna show you guys how to get from this to this. So the first thing you can do is go to the Crunker website and host a private game. Then press Ctrl Shift I. This is gonna load up this window right here. On the left side of this window you can see all the elements. And on the right side you can see all the styles. And that's uh, the CSS we're gonna edit and to edit the CSS click on this little icon right here and select an element you want to edit I'm gonna go with this customize button so as you guys can see this customize button has an ID which is hashtag customize button the hashtag stands for ID and it has a class called dot button different elements on the same website can have the same class but not the same ID so if you have an item with an ID it's only once per website so if we want to edit for example every button on this website we're gonna select a color and then type important after that and that's gonna replace all the background color to the green color and we have box shadow 2 that's the shadow under the button itself so we can select a color here too let's go for a darker one like that so now we have a green looking ui so what you're gonna do next is copy the css you've changed and go to sources css main.custom and type in your class your you've changed and paste in the css so now if you go here and do this it's showing up here in the main.custom and if you want to put it on default, remove everything from here and click on those two thingies to remove it. I showed you guys how to replace all the buttons, now I'm gonna show you guys how to replace only one of the buttons. So you're gonna copy this ID, which is only once per website, and it's only gonna change this button. If you want to add a button to the customize button, you're gonna go and select the element look for the ID, paste it in here. As you guys can see, now it's just green. And to remove it again, just select everything and delete. Same thing we did with those ones, with dot button, but dot small. It's gonna replace all the buttons over here, because they have all the same class as you guys can see. You guys want to replace the, them separately, uh, so you're gonna copy the ID because it's only once per website and type hashtag and then the ID. Now I'm gonna make this one red. The code for red is this one. Now I'm gonna do the same thing for the darker part. now that's the that's the CSS we've changed and you guys can just click on here and click save as go to documents and go to Crunker Resource Whopper if you guys don't have this uh, folder you need to do create you need to create it also create this folder and save it over here and a new window now we know what what's the um, ID of it and so now we go here and type in background color a gray color just like that also the box shadow is gonna be uh, let's make it also black so it kind of fits the aesthetic also don't forget to put a semicolon after every line and same thing for the settings header so what you're gonna do is type in hashtag menu window and then this little star here it's gonna get all the elements uh, you get from the menu window so it's gonna replace all the text with the white color um, if you don't want to do this you can do also every element separately this is what I've done on the uh, CSS which is in the description down below you can also copy this and it looks 
much more better i can also show you guys how i did this so what i've done here is i selected a lot a lot of items and made it gray everything else is just white as you guys can see here and yeah this is what i've did here what we're gonna do next is paste this um this s code in here this is gonna change the direction to row so it's now just like mpc or other um css so now the items are down here and yeah basically it's just changing that next thing i'm gonna add is this here this is gonna hide all of the unnecessary parts so it's gonna hide the news the whatever that is logo and the season label if you don't want to hide them and now they're over here so now that's the ad that's gonna remove the ad this is gonna remove this um the terms and stuff and this is gonna remove the editor button over here and this is gonna remove the f this flying thing here and also the voice display and the map info and as you guys can see it's just visibility hidden and display none and now it's hidden so the next thing i'm gonna do is uh, change the location of the chat holder as you guys can see it's basically just um bottom is the distance from the bottom to the item and this is gonna be 15 percent of the whole window and left is basically just the distance to left and it's gonna be 20 pixel so now it's uh, line up here the same thing we're gonna do with the buttons down here so it's gonna be just like this and now as you guys can see it's all lined up properly you can also do something like this so we have now the border radius that's gonna change this uh, round it's gonna make the button round also we have here uh, the border this is gonna create an outline and change the color of the outline and now we have box shadow this is this this is this one so you can change the color of it i'm just gonna stick to black and this is gonna create kind of like a shadow and i'm also gonna leave it black so now we have kind of a outline with the shadow looking buttons and 